Okay, let's be honest. Anyone on the screen, raise your hand if you have a desire or a dream, you want to make a million dollar. Would you like me to give you an advice if you process it? It will help you approaching that goal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everybody else, please try to understand. It's very simple. You can never make a million dollar bad news if you're not worth it. So you want to make yourself valuable first in order to make yourself worth it worth not deserve it nobody deserves anything it's not like oh okay i uh, it's a bad life tough life i should get this i deserve this i hope this uh, why there is no such a thing there's no luck you can create your own luck life is tough it's not what you deserve bad news is what you make out of it if you want a million dollar or a billion or whatever the number you have to worth it you cannot have a million dollar and not worth it and how do you start mentally have to believe in yourself and the capacity no shortcuts no tricks all of that you can do the other ways that most people are doing but that's just not ethical So start with your thinking, believe in yourself. Which value can I improve in myself? I know myself, okay? Nobody knows you within more than you. Know your strength, not what the society or the law or uh, the neighbor or friend told you or spouse what you're worth. No one knows you more than you. So what people think of you doesn't have to be, uh, become a reality. That's not it. You should put the value to yourself. And if you're not happy, oh, you have to be authentic. You have to be so realistic and honest. You're going to say, oh, I worth a billion. No, you have to be realistic. If you're not transparent with your own self, why would anybody else believe in you? And uh, so you have to increase the value of yourself that... If, if you worth it, if you provide value to others, obviously, not just to yourself, then you can do it over and over and over and over. It's not just the business. People will pay you to listen to you. I mean, everybody have some passion, some area of interest, strength. You can improve it, empower it. And I have known this philosophy that i worked on i took it to heart i don't if i believe it i do it i heard the italian economist who said if you work practo i think his name right he said if you're if you want to become an expert in one topic invest one day one hour a day for five years on that topic learning Improving that uh, skill, talent, reading, discussions, videos, whatever you can do, exercise, whatever that talent is, one hour a day, seven days a week, not holidays, not this, not that, every day is a week. That's 365 days a year. Okay? You don't look at the calendar. Doesn't matter what day, cold, hot weather. That doesn't matter. Every day for five years. Five years are not not a long time most people would would wish to have listened to this 50 years ago okay and believe it or not once you start you cannot stop if something you like you have passion you have love for it you don't need somebody to motivate you so focus on building once you discover your purpose you have a purpose you're not randomly created on earth discover that thing that's far more important than the, than the day you were born, the day you discover your purpose. Why are you here? When you know this, that is your value. Then, I'm not saying for five years, if you if you don't want to spend that time, then do it five. And this is what I thought, I thought to myself. I said, what if I don't want five years? Can I do five, 10 hours a day? 
on a topic I like. Now I'm do, like doing 10 days in one day. You, you see the logic of it? Or seven hours a day, I'm doing one week a day. 52 days, I can, 52 days, I would make equivalent to that now. But to, to keep it simple, that uh, economist said one hour a day, just nice and easy, slow. If you want to get there faster, 52 days, seven, seven hours a day. That's one year. So you want to do, let's say, 150 uh, times five, 250 days or so. Meaning a year of your life, if you spend five, six, seven, ten hours a day, take it seriously. Your life will not be the same on something that you like, you're passionate about. Even if you don't get paid, you still love to do it. You become an expert, world-class expert on the topic. That people will pay you to listen to you and to get a little piece of that expertise. So long time ago, many, many, many years ago, I learned this and I said, I am going to become an, a, a good leader somehow, influencer, uh, you know, be better in technology and, uh, you know, some other areas I wanted to. So it's not one interest. And I still work on myself as much as I can, as hard as I can. So don't expect there's such a system is going to somehow miraculously knock on your door. So you deserve a million dollar. Most people think one day they're going to win the lottery. 99% of the population. Why? It's mathematically impossible. You can only expect it when you make your worth that much or any amount. You don't have to stop at, uh, stop at million. If that what intrigues you. But why? Most people think a million. Why? Does it have a ring to it? Or because somebody said a millionaire? What about a thousandaire? What about a hundredaire or something? Okay. It doesn't have to be a millionaire. It's just a notion that people created and what they do. You're just following their lead. But. If you sit down and calculate, I did the same. I have the, uh, what do you call those uh, little uh, note uh, 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 note cards, okay? I had them with my wife and we sat down years ago. How much we want? If if there's no cap, what are we going to spend on this and this and that? Or most of it education, okay? And we calculated. We cannot spend a million dollar a month. If we wanted, we cannot. You see, most people think like, but why? So sit down, calculate how much do you actually need. And if that's going to fulfill you, assume that you have it. It's a big disappointment if you go after the money that you may not reach because you didn't invest in yourself or build yourself. And you get to that if you accidentally get there. And you're going to. That's not what I wanted. It happened to us. We chased the money. And then we got it. It turned like, so what? It's what you do with it. And it doesn't have to be a million. It could be 800,000. Not a bad number. It could be 500,000, half a million. So don't go after just like that notion of a millionaire, a million. It's what you need. And what fulfills you? That's more important. I have seen miserable billionaire, billionaires with a B. I know them and they would pay billions to just fix a health issue they have or family issue with their spouse or their children. It's hell. Money is not an issue. And I have seen broke people, and I have them in my family, almost like living in, in, in heaven. They don't care about money. Simple life. So there, there's an evidence that money is not 
that parameter to uh, to, to to a healthy uh, life or a, you know a happy life. So don't focus on just because they said they, they they created that narrative that okay money is is a measure for success and all of that. No, it could be education, it could be self worth, it it could be an advice, it could be you know good respect or good elegance or personality that people admire. That's worth a million. I get a text. It's worth listen. If you put a million dollars right now on the table and a text from an Uber driver a year ago randomly. Which one do I take? Which one do you take? You probably will take the one million. I understand. It's not going to impact my life, but this is worth. I will go with this. It's not going to change another million. So sadly, and you know, I, I don't want to say maybe, unfortunately, most people are just following that old ideology of oh, money, million, all of that, all right? And it's it, it mostly the case, I know, is not the ultimate happiness for uh, people. Once they get there, then they realize, okay, so what? Yeah, I got the money. And don't think you're ever going to touch that amount without having a strategy of making sure you're worth it so you can attract it. I'm not talking voodoo stuff like, okay, you're going to magnetize it. No, you're going you're gonna to be build that value within so you can attract wealth. So it's science. It's a, it's an easy formula. But if you really understand what I just shared with you, it can help you. Number one, to recount or encounter that, what's, what's the word? Okay, uh, counter back that number. Uh, and it might not be a million. It might be more than a million. So first of all, decide your target realistically based on it. what do you want to do with it? Most people, if you put them on the spot, what are you going to do with a million dollar right now? Uh, mm, uh, they will probably tell you a list that for $10,000. And next. Uh, they tell you, I'm going to like, okay, uh, buy a big house. How much is it? Where? Do you have a plan, specific plan? Do you have a specific plan? Break it down, like literally like accounting. This is how we had it. I wish one day I can share it with you. We calculated the meals, the place, everything, manifestation, 100% exactly what we want. We calculated the number, and it was much less than what we were initially chasing. Initially chasing, just a random number, just a big million, whatever the number is, okay? What? the public or societies is throwing at you. And most people are not millionaires and just, uh, I want to be a millionaire. Why? What are you going to do with it? <laughs> and how? If you don't worth it, make yourself worth it. And you're going to attract it. But it doesn't have to be a million. It could be a billion. Trust me. Do not expect to have it if you're not worth it. Not deserve it. And there's no excuse, just to let you know. Don't tell me age. Don't tell me language. Don't tell me race. Don't tell me how much I have, where I live. It has nothing to do. We've seen stories, and no matter where you are, where you live, how old, how young, doesn't matter. If there's a will, there's a way. So what if your dream is, if you do the calculation, and your dream was 
$10,000. And if you go and check, hey, I have it. I'm living my dreams. But because you were misled by that theory, it took you away from what you have and you're focused on what they have and they're implying you should have and you don't actually need it. So you could really acquire your happiness today or fulfillment. By what you have. And I'm not talking to Laurie only. I hope this was like somehow helpful to two, one, three of you. Uh, that will uh, make my night. This is true story with my brother, biological brother. Uh, a while ago, he said, I want to be like you. And I hope to be successful. And I know in his uh, mind was financially. And I told him, you decide whatever you want. I'm going to support you. So I gave him two assignments. The first one was decide whatever you want to do in life. Money is not an issue. Whatever project you want to accomplish, anything you want to do, I'll help you. We'll figure out a way how to get there. That's a while ago, okay? But list first, what is the thing that you're most passionate about? Limited options due to the skill, education, all of that. Didn't take a while. I think he just want to give me an answer. I think the next day he told me, I talked to my other brother, okay? And he said, we decided to do this. Okay. And the second assignment, this is where people don't put the time to do the simplest thing. I said, what I want from you, okay, for the next 60, I forgot, 60 or 90 days. I'm, I wanted him to commit at least three months, I think 90 days. Before we go that step, I want you every day to write to me. That's like mostly a text. A new idea, thought, reason why you want to do this. You just type to me. So because you want to become like me or you want to become as successful, okay? You send me a message every day why you want to become successful or why you want to do this specifically. I want to see how committed he is. You ready? Try to guess how many days he committed. Four, five, yeah. Three months. It was one day after one week that I had to follow up with him. What happened with the topic we talked about? And then just I put him on the spot. He replied that day. And I never heard again. And it's parked. You see how people are not even committed theoretically, mentally, to a high target. How are they, they going to put the price to get there? So you need to calculate exactly what you want mathematically and for how long. You want to make a million, a hundred thousand, one time? What are you going to do with it? How often do you want to make it? Do you want to spend it? Is it lifetime? Is it just you want to make it and have it like cushion or fuzzy feeling or what exactly your plan? So if you're specific, if you're clear on your mission, then you will find a way. It's the psychology. That's 80% of the process. 20% the mechanics. Most people are worried about the mechanics, are afraid of the mechanics, but it's a commitment. Most people think by hoping it will happen, and they just complain about everything. They complain about the weather, 
how they're feeling, how many hours they slept, how many meals they didn't have or whatever, what the dog did or the neighbor. It's irrelevant. I mean, you got to be positive. Start with yourself so you can, you, you'll be attractive to other energies outside yourself. That's a big deal. So one day we will talk. I will uh, package something for you so we can talk about how do you acquire wealth, but self-worth before wealth.